modify. Use grid lines to keep the letters in order while modifying. View menu, show grid, scale and adjust the text within the grid line. Select text, go to type menu and create outline. The text is turned into shape and no longer editable with the text tool. Object menu, ungroup so you have control over each object. Create shapes that will be added to the letters to decorate them. I'm starting with the polygon tool, entering three sides to create a triangle. Then place this first shape on the letter. Use the direct selection tool to move points and modify shapes. Start modifying the first letter and base the style of the other letters on it. Create a second shape and start defining the style of the letter corner. letter shapes. Some letters are easily integrated because similar in size and shape. Others need more work. When necessary, adapt it to the letter, like in this case, the letter S. When you're finished adding all the decorations to the first letter, select it and all the added shapes. Select Pathfinder Panel, Unite, and Illustrator will combine the multiple objects into one. Combine each letter and its decorations using Pathfinder Panel Unite. Adjust letters by adding more shapes or use the direct selection tool to move points or use the delete anchor point tool to remove points.
Watch that all the shapes line up with the letters before uniting them, so there aren't any merging errors on the object. Adjusting the letters, go to Pathfinder Panel, unite the letters with the new shapes that were added. Use the Direct Collection tool to correct possible point errors. Adjust the character spacing. color the text and place them in the squares on the side. I'm coloring the text with the color red. I'm adding a stroke with the off-white. I'm going to use the dark red to do the shading and the black for the shadow. Copy the first letter. In my case, it's the letter D. Control C to copy and paste to front, Control F twice. Move the top copy to the right and then select both copies. Go to the Pathfinder panel and select Intersect. Now click on Control F to copy to front again. This time move to the left then select the new copy and the original copy, go to the Pathfinder panel and select minus front. If you like this result, repeat these steps on all the other letters that are similar to the letter D. To add this effect to all the other letters that have a totally different shape, use similar steps, only adapt them to the letter form. I'm just going to copy the shadow onto the letters that are identical.
and make adjustments. Select all the full letters, Control c to copy, Control v to paste to back, color them black, and slightly move to the right and then down for the shadow effect. We are finished in this video, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.